Welcome to the full ship tour of the beautiful Norwegian Dawn. The Dawn has been in service since 2002. It underwent a major modernization in 2016 and continues to be really well maintained. The Dawn was the first Norwegian vessel to carry hull art. It was a big hit and now Norwegian is known for the creative hull art on all its ships. Here at the pool deck on deck 12, we've got Topsiders Bar and Grill. Conveniently located right next to the pool, we've got a bar area that serves uh, food and snacks during the day. Here at breakfast time, we've got some juice, some fruit, some Danish, uh, coffee and tea. Here's the uh, ice cream station that'll be set up uh, later in the day for uh, hard scoop ice cream. Uh, Norwegian also offers um, soft serve ice cream as well. Uh, the bar staff are getting ready for a busy day, getting everything clean and uh, spiffy. So here on the pool deck we've got some comfy uh, sofas in this area. Then next to the pool on this side we've got some high top tables and chairs. A good spot to uh, grab a snack. Uh, from the bar area and then come and relax and uh, enjoy the beautiful weather. Uh, in the background there you can see the tiered uh, sun deck area uh, going all the way up um, to deck uh, 13. Uh, good sized pool on the Norwegian Dawn. I've got uh, four hot tubs at each corner uh, of the pool. Here's some more high top tables going over to the uh, seating area there in the background you can see some restaurant style seating uh, you can get the food from the bar as well as the garden cafe is just next door so you could go to the garden cafe and get your food uh, and then come out and enjoy uh, the beautiful weather so we're going to go up these stairs and uh, get a better look at the uh, pool deck and what's going on around the pool deck. Really nice area to hang out here on this uh, terraced uh, sun deck area. Alright, nice view of the pool. You can see the water on each side of the ship. shot of the pool area and the hot tubs and the, uh, you've got that stage there at the other end of the pool for uh, a DJ or live music. Uh, up here on deck 13 we've got the Bomini Bar and Grill. Uh, there's uh, seating in front as well as on each side. Um, they weren't serving food yet uh, when we went um, but uh, Lots of drinks, easy to get at, at this bar, the meaty bar and grill on deck 13. Really nice view of the pool area as well as the ocean. So now walking around to the front of the ship on deck 13, we've got one big hot tub and then another um, terraced uh, seating area. Uh, this area of the ship um, is rarely uh, very crowded, so if you're looking to get away from the crowds uh, and have a really nice view, um, this is a really great spot. Beautiful sunrise coming up off the front of the ship there. Another good shot of Top Ciders uh, Bar and Grill. You can see the folks there getting a little snack from the breakfast area. Those chairs next to the pool are really comfy. Uh, and you get a, get your toes a little wet there uh, with the splashing, but uh, they're really comfy chairs. Really nice place to relax. All right, so we're coming around here on the uh, jogging track, still on deck 13. Oh, if 
you want to go jogging, uh, recommend you do it early in the morning before it gets too crowded out here. Uh, one lap is uh, 295 meters or 325 yards. That's a little bit less than one-fifth of a mile per lap. You can see the wall there uh, is uh, designed to uh, give the joggers uh, some uh, uh, protection from the crowds and the, the non-joggers uh, enjoying the uh, other areas. Um, large checkerboard there, those get set up later in the day for checkers and chess. Uh, here's some shuffleboard and uh, golf driving range. Uh, if you want to do the golf driving range, you just go down to the uh, towel area on the pool deck at uh, deck 12 and they'll give you the supplies. Again, jogging track goes all the way around here on uh, deck 13. Here at the very rear of the ship, we've got the kids pool area. Uh, so we'll uh, hop down to deck 12 just for a second and uh, get a look at this pool area. Really designed for younger kids. Um, so you know, probably, you know, less than eight years old. Um, you'll, somewhere around eight or nine, they're probably getting a little too big, but you've got a couple of water slides, a couple of little pool areas. Um, I really like the, the, the deck chairs they've got are designed for little people. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, but this is a popular area for the for the small kids. You got yeah, a little little kitty slide there. Have some uh, splash areas as well. So here's another slide on the other side. All right, hopping up to uh, deck 14, still here at the rear of the ship, and we're going to take a peek over the railing here and uh, get a bird's eye view of the kids' pool area. So again, there's that slide we just looked at a second ago. Little hot tub area. Again, there's those uh, uh, miniature uh, deck chairs uh, for the little ones. I uh, would not advise an adult to sit in that one. That's going to be, uh, could be a squeeze. Um, small pool area with some splash toys. And so here we are on the big deck on deck 14. Uh, again, if you're looking to get away from the crowds, a uh, great place to go. Very few people come up to that deck. Uh, so here's our uh, sports deck on deck 14. So uh, full court basketball, got netting all around and on the top, so no danger of losing uh, whatever uh, game you're playing, have the ball go out in the ocean. That wouldn't be good, uh, but that's protected. some soccer goals there if you're not interested in basketball. So coming back down on the other side of the ship, here's the, this is another uh, uh, checkerboard. So again, one side of the ship will be set up with chess, the other side uh, will be set up with, uh, with checkers. Uh, chess pieces are probably about three, four feet high, so uh, that's pretty fun uh, to play with your kids uh, with chess pieces that are almost as big as they are. All right, so we've got the Moderno and Cagney's uh, area. These are two specialty restaurants that are located uh, together. Uh, so Cagney's on this side. Cagney's is the American steakhouse, and then we've got Moderno on the other side. Moderno is the Brazilian steakhouse where they bring the uh, freshly cooked meats out to your table on the large skewers and let you keep filling up your plate for as long as you want. Then you've got uh, the Jerkin Mojito Bar uh, in the middle that serves each of those two restaurants. This area is exclusive to sweet guests for breakfast and lunch since there's no haven on this ship. And then at dinner, this area opens up to everyone. At the aft of the ship on deck 13 is the Splash Academy and the Entourage Teen Club. The Splash Academy is a drop off program for children ages 3 to 12, offering flexible programming to give the child choices and to keep their interest. Entourage is a supervised teenager hangout for ages 13 to 17 and includes video games, movies, arts, music, and sports. The video arcade is a fun place for kids to hang out after playing in the sun and the water. Please note that these games are not complimentary, so you'll need to plan on how to limit the spending in here if you allow your kids to use it unsupervised. The 
fitness center is also located on deck 12. Equipment includes treadmills, ellipticals, steppers, medicine and fit balls, and free weights. Even yoga, pilates, and spin classes are available. Use of the equipment is complimentary, but classes usually include a small fee. As you can see, there's quite a supply of machines and equipment for everybody to use and not be too crowded. This is first thing in the morning, and there is plenty of equipment to choose from. Here's a separate room for yoga, stretching, or other activities. And here's more machines and a large selection of free weights. And the bikes for the spin class even have their own dedicated room. How about that view while you're pedaling hard? The Mandira Spa and Salon is accessible from Deck 11 or from the Fitness Center on Deck 12. This is the place to go for massages, facials, wraps, body scrubs, or other such services. The Garden Cafe is Norwegian's buffet, open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Make sure you use the washing stations as you enter every time. That's always good advice on a cruise to make sure that you stay healthy and don't get sick. The ice cream station will be set up later for soft serve. Uh, this is breakfast time during this video. Here's your drink stations that are complimentary milk. Got your ice machine and ice water, your juices, and coffee and hot water for tea. The juice machines include orange juice, apple juice, cranberry juice cocktail, and iced tea. We always found the food in the buffet to be fresh and quite good. Just another shot at the drink dispensers and coming back around to our meats and eggs, pastries, fresh fruits. One thing to note is this bar area that's right between the two sides of the buffet in the middle. Uh, that bar area serves not only fresh squeezed juices, uh, but also soda, beer, and wine. So if the pool bar is really busy, uh, it's a great place to go and get a cold beverage uh, if all you're looking for is soda, beer, or wine, because not that many people know about it. So don't forget that the buffet goes around on both sides of the ship, so it wraps around. Uh, it's really a, a large area. It's usually not very crowded. Uh, if you find one area crowded, you know, try going around to the other side. And then there they are, still getting set up. That section's not quite open yet, but it will be in a little bit. Uh, nice seating areas, really nice views off of deck 12 while you're eating. Los Lobos Cantina is one of the specialty restaurants on the ship. Uh, it was only open for dinner on our sailing. Uh, it serves authentic Mexican dining. Uh, one of its specialties is uh, starting off with uh, fresh guacamole made right at the table. Uh, the bar is located right inside the restaurant and uh, specializes in uh, Mexican inspired drinks, which is really quite good. The decor is quite colorful and creative. I really enjoyed the uh, glasses with the bright blue rim on the top. Uh, the drink was uh, exceptionally well done. And you can only access Los Lobos uh, from the aft of the ship on deck 12. The library is a cool and quiet place to sit and relax after having been out in the hot sun. Uh, you can usually find a game of chess or checkers to use if you didn't bring your own. Uh, they're available in the library. Uh, first come, first serve, uh, or it's a good place to uh, sit down and read a book that you brought or read a book that you found on the shelves.
Heading down to deck 9 in the hallway, notice that the fish on the floor are pointed towards the front of the ship to help you find your way. But don't follow that red herring, he'll lead you in the wrong direction. Accessible from the deck 9 hallway, or via the stairs from deck 8 at Oceans, this lounge is a peaceful and comfortable place to relax that not many passengers find. There's a lot of comfortable areas to sit and relax. And you've also got nice views of the atrium down below, including the coffee shop. This was our go-to area for game time. It felt like it was our own private lounge since there was rarely anybody ever there. The stage above the coffee shop is used for live music each night. One deck below the lounge on deck 8 is Oceans, and then down on deck 7 is the Atrium. Coming down to Deck 8, we'll find Oceans Neighborhood Bar and Grill. Oceans is a Norwegian Cruise Line standard, and the concept is unique to Norwegian. It's a complimentary sit-down restaurant that's open all day and long into the night. Lunch, dinner, and late-night menu items consist of slightly varying pub food favorites. Examples include wings, spinach, and artichoke dip, nachos, burgers, grilled chicken sandwiches, and my personal favorite, the Reuben. Breakfasts are hot and made to order. Custom omelets, French toast, eggs, and breakfast meats are typically served, and baskets of baked goods are brought around to your table. And you can simply walk up to the bar for a cold beverage of your choosing at the extra large bar. With entrances on both decks 6 and 7, the Stardust Theater is the main theater on the dawn. They typically have a big show every evening. During this sailing, the main production cast performed in three shows, twice each night. The other nights were filled with a special vocalist, magician, comedian, and an acrobatic duo. The magician and acrobatic duo were also incorporated into the third main cast show called Elements. You can bring in your own beverage or you can order one from the staff as you enter the theater if you get there a little early. There was plenty of seating for everyone who wanted to enjoy the show, but if you're partial about where you sit, you definitely want to get there early. We particularly enjoyed the view from these seats there on the balcony. During the day when the cast isn't rehearsing for the shows in the evening, the main theater is used for game shows and things like bingo and lectures. Tradewinds is the duty-free shopping area located just outside the Stardust Theater on Deck 7. You'll find a wide variety of cruise-related clothing and merchandise, as well as souvenirs to bring home. On the other side of the store you'll find perfumes, watches, and jewelry. There's also some basic medicines, including for seasickness, as well as some candy. And some of the items will vary from day to day. Just around the corner from Tradewinds, you'll find bamboo. This Asian-themed area actually has three different places to eat and one small bar. That was the bar we just saw under the bamboo sign. As we go in, on the right is the sushi bar. Please note that the sushi comes with an added fee. As we get past the sushi bar, we enter the main seating area for the bamboo restaurant. This is a complimentary Chinese restaurant. It's very good and very popular. It was only open for dinner on our cruise, and they weren't taking advance reservations. As a result, the wait was pretty long unless you got in line well before it opened. 
And in the back of Bamboo is Teppanyaki. Teppanyaki is another specialty restaurant. It's Japanese hibachi style where the cooks make the food in front of you. Be sure to make your reservations early as there are only four tables and it's really very popular. The atrium is the central hub of the ship. Here you will find the shore excursions desk, the dining reservations desk, guest services, the Tides gift shop, and the Java Cafe. And yes, they do serve Starbucks drinks at the Java Cafe. The atrium stage above the Java Cafe is home to live musical performances every evening. And finally, completing our circle is the Cruise Next office. Cruise Next is a promotional program that Norwegian runs to encourage cruisers to put down money for a deposit for a future cruise in exchange for onboard credit. Cellars is the wine bar. You won't find any beer taps in this lounge. They do host a variety of wine tastings if you want to try some new things. Cellars is typically a relaxed atmosphere and usually not very crowded. There are a few different seating areas where you can sit down, relax, unwind, and sip on a glass of red or white. A cruise is a great place to get professional photographs while you vacation, so you can preserve the memories of your trip. The photo gallery is where you can review any pictures that were taken of you on the ship on these touchscreen monitors. You can purchase individual photos, or you can purchase a multiple picture package. The photo gallery also has examples and ideas to help make your own memories, and they also have photo-related items like picture frames. The cruise has a large art collection available for viewing and purchase. The ship will have an art auction once during the cruise. They'll use an authentic auctioneer, so it's pretty entertaining even if you aren't interested in purchasing any of the art. The Bliss Lounge is the primary nightclub on the Norwegian Dawn. During the day it will be used for things like trivia games, and during the evening there will be live music or karaoke contests. It's a big space with lots of different types of seating and a dance floor in the stage area. The bar is in the back and is well staffed during events. The main cast performers put on a show here one night, and it was really quite good. promenade deck on deck 7 wraps around the entire ship. One lap is around 560 meters or 612 yards. That's a little bit more than one third of a mile per lap. It's usually not very crowded and it's a great place to go for a long walk, to play some shuffleboard, or to just relax and view the waves rolling by.
Amidship on Deck 7, near the Bamboo Restaurant, there are stairs that lead down to Deck 6 at Gatsby's Champagne Bar and the restaurants Le Bistro and La Cucina. Gatsby's Champagne Bar has a comfortable seating area and becomes a venue for live music every evening. Bistro is another specialty restaurant. This is Norwegian's French restaurant. While Norwegian is known for its freestyle casual approach to cruising, this is probably the most elegant and formal restaurant in the entire Norwegian fleet. Le Bistro promises a truly memorable upscale dining experience with crisp white linens, an intimate atmosphere, and attentive service. La Cucina is also a specialty restaurant. It is Norwegian's Italian restaurant. We enjoyed sitting at a table where we could hear the music from Gatsby's next door. There are tables for two, as well as tables that can seat a large party. The open kitchen allows for the aromas from the cooked food to come into the seating area. Next to Gatsby's Champagne Bar is the Havana Night Cigar Lounge. It's an enclosed space for smokers to enjoy a cigar or cigarette without disturbing anyone else with secondhand smoke. The Dawn has a large casino relative to the size of the ship. There are all kinds of table games and slot machines. And there is a large bar. One tip is that on sea days, when the pool bar is overcrowded with customers, the casino bar is usually not busy at all, so you can stop by here for a beverage on your way out to your deck chair by the pool. Aqua is the first of the two main dining rooms. They share the same menu. The ambiance in Aqua is a little more intimate as it is a little smaller with lower ceilings and slightly dimmer lighting. The Venetian is the second main dining room. It's slightly larger than Aqua, with higher ceilings and more windows. The staff was great, and we ate most of our evening meals here when we weren't eating at one of the specialty restaurants. The 
views out the large windows at the back of the ship were especially great, so if you can talk your waiter into seating you there, it's a great idea. As you can see, the Norwegian Dawn is a beautiful ship with a lot to offer. Coming in at about 92,000 tons and capable of carrying about 2,300 passengers at double capacity, the Dawn is small by modern standards but has a wide variety of restaurants, entertainment, and activities for the whole family. I hope you enjoyed this full ship tour of the Norwegian Dawn. If you did, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel.